to how to use your deck profile for dice deck part three deck rating now in part three here's where i will have the side deck mentioned but before the side deck is mentioned i will talk about Odai's deck strengths and weaknesses and then after near the end of the video i will rate the deck rate it for whether it is a good fun deck a good meta deck etc 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 so here's where now i will try this new style and see if this is the style that works for me so in this part three we'll do that remember if you want a combo and play guide right now or it will be in part two well let's get on with the rest of the video okay now in part three we're going to be talking about the strengths first of all of the odd eyes deck so what decks are you going to be good against? You're going to be good to get de decks such as Mutants, as I show you here. Okay. You would also be good against decks like, let's remove that away. Aliens. Okay. And let's uh, get that off the field. Yeah, so these are the kind of decks um, the Odd Eyes deck is going to be weak against. These sort of power levels. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about what I feel the Odd Eyes deck is going to be weak against. The Odd Eyes deck is going to be weak against several hand traps. Um, first of all, Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre is going to be a hand trap you're going to be weak against. The go a Ghost Ogre in the right place, hitting the right monster, can do some significant damage. It can prevent, like, you know, you, 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 us as a player, you know, if you play the Odd deck, going into some, uh, pendulum summoning, because you don't have the link markers and such. Um, what other things can hit you really hard it's gonna be impermanence again imperm infinite impermanence on the right monster on the right card can deal some significant damage here and it's definitely something uh we don't want to ignore yeah um let's move on as well to other hand traps that can affect you equally as bad we have gamma gamma can deal you some real damage yeah if we just put it all there it can do you some real damage, you know, some really tough damage um, can really deal you with Gamma, as it destroys the monster as well. What other hand trap uh, can deal you some damage here? Um, Ash Blossom, universal, but yeah, this girl right here, one of the best hand trap in the game, and has had consistent, has been consistently been in top decks and in the competitive scene, year after year after year and i would have to vote as the best hand trap of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh's history definitely it's gonna hit you uh, not as bad as the previous hand traps but again if a ash is hit on the right card in the right way it can definitely deal you some damage let's remove that away and finally we have effect veiler effect veiler yes on the right card with the right resources can hit you pretty hard okay and finally we have nibiru now this is a game ending card with pendulums as well um obviously we'll have the nibiru token there as you see there and let's take that away nibiru is going to be very powerful against the uh the pendulum mechanic and against obviously odd eyes as a whole um pendulums odd eyes or pendulums in general are not in a good place at the moment they really aren't and now and a nibiru is 90 or 100 percent of the time gonna hit you and gonna hit you really really hard especially if it is backed up by one of the previous hand traps that i've shown through the weakness side of this video whether it is a uh, veiler you know or an ash blossom or it's backed up with a gamma or it's backed up with a infinite impermanence maybe even a ghost ogre nibiru becomes game ending and it just becomes devastating okay and that's it and so i want to say i'll end the video we'll not have a side deck because our dice doesn't have a side deck it's just merely a fun deck and that's it 
Okay, so let's do the deck grading. From the strength and weaknesses we can see, so we can beat decks like mutants and aliens. I mean, if that's the power level we're going to be facing against, then yeah, you're definitely better than, it's definitely better than F. Um, goes up to E because you can beat aliens, but it rests at D. Why does it rest at a deck grading of D? Well, you lose to quite a lot of hand traps in um, the Odd Eyes deck. Um, also, given the fact that Nibiru is all-encompassing and if it's followed up by any other hand trap, um, you will auto-lose is also good. We've, uh, Pendulum as a whole, which is what Odd Eyes is, essentially has lost a lot of power cards. It's lost Electromite, which is extremely huge, as Electromite was one of the co-founding uh, link cards that allowed Pendulums to really stand out and to really do their plays. Maybe with Electromite, it, this grading could have gone up to maybe A, possibly S tier, but with no Electromite, uh, with Beyond the Pendulum, maybe could move it up to C, but it's, it's still not in a good place. So... With all these considered, with all the hand traps that uh, can hurt Odd Eyes deck and Pendulum as a whole, the final grading for Odd Eyes is D. For it's dangerous, but that's all it is. Dangerous. That's it. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.